Hi friends, so today we are going to do another deck flip through. Today we've got the Soul Cards Tarot deck, which uh, to me is just the most beautiful <laughs> designed deck. Everything about its aesthetic is just stunning. Um, this is by Christine Fridheim, Karina Nika and Eva. <sighs> Eklund, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. How I discovered this deck was actually through Karina Nika. She's sort of more the artist, sort of, it's a more her interpretation behind the deck and um, Christine Fridheim is actually the, the reader behind it. I don't know who Eva is. I didn't really hear or know anything about her until I actually got the desk deck. So I do need to maybe look her up and see what her involvement in this is. But I discovered Karina on Instagram and then a few days later, she announced that she was working on this with Christine, so uh, I knew as soon as I saw these, I needed to have them. This was back when I first started to sort of really become seriously interested in tarot cards and I was browsing around looking for a deck, um, looking for the right one that stood out to me. You know, everyone says, find a deck that really stands out to you, that really grabs to you, that you're drawn to. This was that deck for me. I knew I needed it in my life, but it's taken me six months <laughs> to actually get it. So the box, um, it's a basic cardboard box. The finish of the box, it's the same finish on the cards. You can probably see it's this beautiful matte, silky uh, velvet kind of almost feeling with some gold foiling and then like a floral sort of pattern around the edges. I love the coloring of it. The black and the gold metallic, I think it's stunning. The floral is beautiful. That's what the inside of the lid looks like as well. It's got this beautiful black and gold foil detail in there. And it says to learn more about the cards and their meanings, how to lay them and all that sort of stuff. Um, it does direct you to the Soul Cards Tarot website because this deck, and this is one thing I didn't realize and I do wish it did have, it doesn't have a book. So if you want to know um, about the meanings from what um, Christine has interpreted of them, you do have to go to soulcardstarot.com, which is not the end of the world. Everyone has access to the internet literally in our phones. It's very easy to do. And I do have to say the website is very, very nice. But I do wish that there was a book. I just, I like having a book. And I think an addition, a book addition to this would have made it just like, perfect although it would have made it a little bit more expensive I'd expect these are a pretty expensive deck I think um, I don't think I know in Australia these cost me $70 so they are pricey but boy are they worth it they are so beautiful so you can see the top of the deck here has that beautiful um, floral detailing and then you've got your matte and your gold foiling on the actual tarot card side. The um, edging of the deck here is like a, it's a gold, but it's not as like foily and as reflective as what's on the cards. It's a little more matte and a little more sort of satin, I guess. Really beautiful. Again, the, I don't know, is it like flocked? What is it? It's such an interesting textured paper. It's so, it feels like silk. It's so smooth and soft. It's absolutely beautiful. The mattest black or, you know, color, I guess, I've ever seen in any kind of card or paper stock. I've never felt anything like it. It's beautiful and it just sort of makes the gold foiling just really pop as well, which I just love it. I think it's beautiful. One thing I have noticed though is it damages quite easily. I had these just sat on just kind of like my desk here but in my um, in my bedroom where I have all my other crystals and stuff and I was just sort of moving it around sort of like this just over to the side or whatever and I noticed the card that was on the bottom was all scratched up. So the paper, the card that they're made out of is beautiful but it's quite delicate so now I do have it sat on a mat just to save any further scratching. <laughs> um, so yeah do be careful uh, when you get them not to sort of just like swish them around on your like surface because it does damage quite easily and it does show up if you get any sort of markings or anything on it as well so um, it's beautiful but it's delicate anyway so I'm not going to go through all of the cards because we will be here all day it is a standard tarot deck but I just love the artwork like I mentioned it was Karina's style of artwork that's how I found these in the first place and this is her 
style of artwork, this beautiful line work, line and dot, and it's oh, it's just so beautiful. They're all so stunning. Um, and they tend to be a little bit more, I saw someone uh, describe these as more like sigil kind of based, which I thought was a really nice way to describe them. Like obviously you can see wands and pentacles, but when you get into like the major arcana and stuff, like yes, okay, that looks like the sun, but it's very sort of almost like a sigil, which is really cool. Really cool. It's just, they're just beautiful. I love the artwork in it and um, not just like the artwork in the cards, but what Karina does with all her other things. She's got dream journals. She's just, if you haven't checked her out on the in, on Instagram, um, I'll link her below. I'll link the Soul Card Tarot um, website and Instagram as well because even Christine's, um, I'm pronouncing that right, aren't I? Christine, yeah, her Instagram as well is just very warm and uh, inviting and there's just good energy within it. So I knew this deck was I was gonna have to own this. I just knew it as soon as I saw it. It was just that's that's my deck. That's the one. But um, they were on pre-order for a while, and then uh, but I didn't have the money. And then when I did have the money, they had sold out, <laughs> and that happened a couple times. Um, and then I discovered uh, one of the uh, Australian Instagram accounts. They sell crystals and stuff, um, but are based in Australia. They mentioned that they were going to be stocking this so i've been slowly waiting and stalking their instagram and their website oh here's the card that um got all scratched up i don't know if you can see i don't know if that's going to focus or not but or if you can see it's all just kind of scratched up a bit which is a shame but um yeah this australian stockist i'll link i'll link that down below as well um they stocked them and I was so happy because uh, obviously buying from international um, an international site meant international shipping as well um, but buying from an Australian website I was able to get free shipping because it was over the free shipping cap so and it's good to support Aussie businesses too you know so um, yeah timing <laughs> wasn't um, always right for me in this deck but I knew I had to own it so I'm so, so happy I have it now. She's absolutely stunning. I haven't had her for very long, but I've used her a few times and she works absolutely beautifully for me. One downside, apart from like the paper being delicate, like I mentioned with the uh, scratching, if you're not careful, it does because it's that sort of, oh, it's like a velvety, silky texture. It's got like grip to it, so it doesn't, I don't know if you can see, like it just takes... I haven't found it to be the easiest to shuffle because like it's silky but it's also kind of grippy oh, I can't explain it it's so interesting it's beautiful but it's not the easiest to shuffle and bring back together like this is how normally I shuffle and it just like it grips on itself but I can look past that because it's just so so Stunning. Bloody Ten of Swords. I keep drawing this freaking deck card all the time. Like, okay, all right, there's a message there. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. But yeah, anyway, there we go. That's the Soul Cards Tarot deck. Obviously I have the black and gold version. There is a pink and gold, which um, essentially it's the same design. I think the flower on the back is slightly different. Um, and it's more of this bright pink as opposed to like black. And then on the front, it's a sort of a baby pink with the gold foiling and you've got the gold foiling around the edges as well. I just absolutely died for this colorway. I think it's just so beautiful. She's an expensive deck. She's often sold out, but my goodness, she's so, so worth it so beautiful. I'm going to cherish this and um, absolutely love it uh, forever. It's just so special. So um, yeah, it was meant to be this deck and I. It was meant to be. It took us a bit to get here, <laughs> but um, now that it's here, uh, yeah, I cherish it. Absolutely cherish it. So I will link below all the websites and all the people behind this and where you can get it because it's worth they're worth it. They're just so stunning. Yes, they're expensive, but you won't you won't be disappointed. They're stunning. So there we go. Let me know if um, you 
have this deck uh, as well or if you're going to get this deck I know it's currently on pre-order but uh, give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already so I can see you in my next video bye guys